Hello stampers, Susan Edwards here from Busy with the Cricky. How is everyone this evening? I'm running just a couple of minutes late. I was supposed to get on right at 7, but my uh, webcam wasn't automatically uh, hooking up. Sorry, I'm trying to check my site and see if I'm really live, and guess what? It's telling me it doesn't know. That's not helpful, is it? Okay, so tonight we are going to make some birthday cards. We're going to make three, actually. This card using the beautiful friendship, and these two using the zany zebras. I just got a message from my friend Toby telling me that she is ready for the class. I would, I would bet that Toby is over on Zoom waiting for me to show up. I hate that since I am here on Facebook. Alright, so we're going to start with this card. I love this card because it's so fall looking and I have several friends that have fall birthdays so this should be just perfect. Um, again, we're going to be using the beautiful friendship dies. These are so pretty. I have done other cards with this. We use this for a blue version in my birthday card class. Oh, way back, I think when it, maybe way back uh, in the spring. It had to be in the spring because, you know, we were not socially distancing and had not shut down then. All right, I have a hard time with simple cards. Tonight's cards are going to be relatively simple. This one more so than most because all we're going to do is put ink to paper. So I started with Whisper White Heavy Cardstock and the large flower grouping. I am using Pumpkin Pie ink and I'm not sure if that's the one I really want to use but that's the one I'm starting with and I'm going to kind of roughly put it in the middle Ooh, I think I started a bit dark but you know what that's what happens when you just kind of go with it now to this pumpkin pie I'm going to add the single rosette out on the sides and then I'm going to take this fun fun I don't even sure what that is floral branch and have it come out in a couple of places maybe in a couple of different colors we'll see how this looks so far so good all right, now I'm going to take the double bud and see what I can do with this. Um, I did it in the other color previously, but I'm feeling kind of bad since I messed up just a little and started with the wrong middle color. So now I'm changing my own design some to accommodate my color oops. What do you think? Is this going to be okay? I sure hope so, because I don't want to mess it up too bad. I just want a pretty card I can send to a friend. Alright, so I'm going to do a little stamping and blocking right here, so I could add just one of the flowers down there. Now, I'm going to go back to my first block and just barely touch some of the uh, bumblebee and try to add that into the middle as a bit of color. Yeah, that's better. I wanted some of that color in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to put these away. Now, no I'm not. I'm going to almost put these away. I'm going to add my butterflies. The butterflies are from the Butterfly Gala, and I'm just using this simple butterfly right here. Okay. 
and I'm going to stamp him on here a couple of times. Once up there, let's stamp that off, and once over here. Okay, now I'm going to close these because I don't want to be wearing them, and you know, I know I will. All right, so now I'm going to do leaves, and for the leaves, we're going to use two colors crumb cake and soft sea foam green. Okay, and I have, like everything else, I have my leaves already out. Now I'm going to have to change my leaf placement just a bit because I changed my flower placement but I'm just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. Um, let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's go over here and stamp that off a little bit. And add this guy down here. And ink, stamp off. And got a little bit on the edge there I missed. And put this guy up here. All right, and stamp, stamp off. And where's my little blocker? We're only going to do a single one right here. Okay. And we need some more, I think, over in here, don't you? This one I'm kind of mixing the two by accident, really. Okay. What do you think? I think it could use some of the threes. So let me move that stamp over because I am definitely a right-handed stamper. And put these right here. Yeah, that's what he needed. And let me stamp that off a little bit more. Go over there. Okay, I'm going to stop before I completely overdo this card because I am known to do that. But that was that simple. Now, I do realize I started with the wrong color in the middle, but honestly, ah, honestly, it really didn't matter because there's no real rhyme or reason to how we do this. I'm going to get out the soft suede and find where I put my sentiment. My sentiment is from this stamp set, Happiest of Birthdays, and we're going to do It's Your Day, Enjoy It. But I love the different birthday sentiments in here. And we're going to stamp this again in this darker color. We're going to do this right up here over top of some of the other elements. Now last, the last thing we're going to do with this card is, I cannot find the gold gems that I want to use, so we're just going to use the ones I could find. I made the mistake of rearranging my scrap room recently, and I don't know about all of you, but when I rearrange, it becomes a lesson in, oh my, what did I lose? And I'm having definitely a, oh my, what did I lose moment. So at the base of each of the flowers, I'm trying to add in a single gem down here just to give it a little blingy punch. Okay. There we go. I think I'm almost finished with this one. Um, yeah, I don't think I need, I could do one more little one if I wanted to up here. This guy's pretty well defined. Oh no, it's sticking to my finger. Got it. And there we go. That's birthday card number one. Oh dear. I have a message on my own screen. Turn around here and see what I'm saying to myself. Silly iTunes wants to uh, download right now in the middle of my class. No, let's just tell iTunes no. Okay, the second card we're going to make 
as this fun, fun, fun zebra card. This card is so easy. Um, again, I have pre-cut most of the pieces. I've pre-cut this, um, the front and the middle, the base card, and I've scored the base card. But the un one thing I did not cut is the circle elements. So let's get my trusty stamp and cut stamp and cut and emboss machine up here and get out my circle dies which I think I see over here. My circle dies are the ones I cannot keep neat. I can keep almost all the others neat on their magnets. But these guys are all over the place. They just do not want to be neat. Kind of like my desk right now. Alright, so we're going to do this. Let me pull this back a little. There we go. And there we go. Put on the number three. Roll this through. I'm moving my Tim Holtz piece underneath. Okay. And there we go. Those are all cut. As my granddaughter is fond of saying now, she's five and is in kindergarten. And she's doing virtual school this year. Her kindergarten teacher... When something is very easy, she says, easy peasy. So now Ava Lee will say, Grandma, that was easy peasy. Yes, yes, easy peasy. Using our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, easy peasy. Okay, so what we're going to do here is this. I'm going to get out my little runner. And I'm going to start with this piece. I'm going to throw things around, apparently, is what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to start here, add some adhesive onto this mm, denimish look side, because I want the dots to be up. I have cut this already at four by five and a quarter, and the little dots are two by five and a quarter. And this is going to go right on the front of my card. And you know, I'm beginning to think, yep, I've cut it at five, sorry. Ah, well, close enough. Whoever gets my fun little guy will not mind that it's off by, I don't know, a quarter of an inch somewhere. Let me get this on here. Think about the runner, as you don't get a lot of chances to mess up. When it wants to go in, it wants to go in. When you touch down with it, it's going to stay. It's not very forgiving, and it doesn't give you a chance to move it around or slide it to position it like um, maybe glue will do. So you have to be sure you really have that where you want it when you begin. Okay, you know what I just did? Oh, good, it's right here. Thought I messed up and got rid of something. Now, on here, we are going to find our little zebra friend. That's, there he is. And we're going to use Stays On Ink because I want to do some marker coloring with him. Okay. Make sure I'm inking this up well. And I'm going to put his little self right in there. I think when I did this last night, or yesterday rather, to make this card, I probably um, stamped and then cut. With something this size, it really doesn't matter. You can do either one. Okay, that was the little party hat, and I decided to stamp that also. Now, the paper we are using is Misty Moonlight. And, you know, and obviously Whisper White. So I just got out my Stampin' Write marker in Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to do a little coloring on 
our little zebra friend here. These zebras are just so cute. They look so happy, and I love that. Okay. So I'm just going to keep coloring here. I'm kind of coloring in his stripes only with the misty moonlight. And of course his tail. His tail's got to be misty moonlight. And go back up here. And you want to kind of streak this because that's how it's stamped. And that way it'll match how it's stamped. And his little zebra lines continue down here. And here we go. And across here. Alright, and then the other thing I do is I color in his little hoofs solid. I don't know why. I just like that. Okay, there he is. Not sure what this little thing is on his face, but I'll deal with that later. Now, I'm going to use this adhesive again to put this on the circle, but I'm going to use some dimensionals, some Stampin' Dimensionals, to raise this up. Ah, thought I had some large ones ready to go. Let me dig around up in my little tray. I don't see them. I bet they're out on my desk waiting to be used. Yes, they are. I already had them out. I anticipated. Okay. Do you see how fast we are making these cards? Super, super, super easy peasy cards tonight. All right, I'm pulling off the backs here. Put this over in my little trash pile. Now what we're going to do is just position. Oh no, I forgot to do the ribbon. I may have to do a Fobo with this guy. I'm sorry, I forgot to do the ribbon. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking rush along is what I was thinking. Let's just be honest here. Now, I can do this as blue with white polka dots, like I did on this card. Or I could just do it white with blue polka dots. And I think I'll try that and see how it looks. Now, this one I'm going to have to cut by hand because... You know, I just need to do a little fussy cut action here on this. And there we go. And then I'm just going to use a tiny little pop dot. I'm sorry, stamping dimensional. I'm going to use a tiny little stamping dimensional. And put this up on his head. And the reason I switched colors, I really did have a reason, is because I was afraid the blue was blending in too much with his mane. And I'm not sure that one's any more visible, but I like it. Now, let me get rid of this little bit of trash and turn around here. Yes, I do have a piece. All right, we need the happy birthday sentiment. And I know I have that out someplace right here. And we need the misty moonlight to stamp that sentiment in. Okay, so I'm just going to go right down here and pop it on there. I have my little stamp cleaner right over here because I will need that same stamp again. Okay, while I have the stamp, I have the double stars loaded on the other side. And I'm going to use this as a background. And while I stamp these, I'm going to keep turning my card because I don't want the stars to be in the same you know, the same direction all the time. I want them to be varied. So I did that. I think I need one more right in here. There we go. So those are all stamped. Now let me clean that stamp on the chamois. There we go. All right. 
we need a bow and we need a sentiment. But let me close this ink because otherwise I'll be wearing it. And I have on kind of a cream color top today. And that would just be so not good. All right. Got out my, my trimmer. And let's move this up so it's on the screen. I'm going to make this about three quarters of an inch to begin with. But I'm going to now turn it around and move it down a little bit. I'm trying to, one, cut this straight, but two, I'm trying to cut off some of the extra that I have on there. See, I think it still needs to come down just a bit, so maybe I'll take it to about half an inch on here. Yep, that looks good. I wanted it to be sort of centered top to bottom also. And now it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take this away and snip down these, ed these edges just a little. So this is out about half an inch, a little more. Same thing over here. All right, and then I'm going to reach across my desk to my punch rack and get the Banners Pick-A-Punch and show you how easy this is to do. I love the Banners Pick-A-Punch. So I wanted this to be banner-like. Not happy with that banner-like moment. Better. All right, so let me turn it the other way. And go up just a little. There we go. I'm still not happy. I think they're not even. Okay, I'm trying to get the happy birthday sort of centered in there. All right, let me put that punch away. Ooh, I just threw a whole pile of reindeer tags in the floor by accident. That's just not cool. Those reindeer tags are going to be for a craft show that I'm going to be in, in Aiken, in December. And I'm already gearing up crafting for that. Okay, so I added the edge of my adhesive dots to the back of this. And now we're just going to put it right there. And I guess, since I forgot to run my ribbon across, I got so excited about being this far into the card, I stuck this down without riveting, that we'll just tie a bow and add that to the front of this card. And the way I like to add my bows on so that they stay is, cut that, is I'm going to grab um, some glue dots that I have and put the glue dot on the back of the bow. Hmm. And then put the bow on the card. And of course you know now I'm going to play with this bow because I've gotten a good look at it while it's flat and I'm thinking, hmm, there's something wrong there. And the little, ah, the cellophane was sticking to me. Okay, that might be better. And there we go. That's card number two. All right, card number three. We're just moving right along here tonight, everyone. Card number three, again, is already pre-cut. And again, we are using these cute zany zebras. Uh, you party animal, kick up your heels with this little guy. Happy birthday, wild about you. These are so cute. Okay, so I have pre-cut my card. And I'm looking for my bone folder. And to make sure I give you, it's Magenta Madness is the color I'm using. Uh, for the last two cards, I've used two of our end colors for this year. The Misty Moonlight and the Magenta Madness. We also have this year uh, Cinnamon Cider 
Miss or just Jade and there's somebody's oh Bumblebee I love Bumblebee I don't know how I could have forgotten Bumblebee okay now I highly recommend if you decide you want to make the pieces from this card from these cards if you have to make any children's cards these little zany zebras are wonderful but they're also kind of fun because you can dress them up and make them more feminine um, this one I do think of as a boy card I will admit now let's go back to beautiful friendship for a moment the cards from this are stunning if you do not have this stamp set you truly need this stamp set if you are a stamper just so many beautiful things you can make with that all right so that's our basic card you think I can maybe remember to uh, add ribbon and things this time we'll see what I do okay and again we're going to use this days on ink and I have my two little zebras already on here and we're going to stamp this guy kind of over here. Yay. Oops. We're going to knock over his buddy. And we're going to stamp this one over like this. I think he's been jumping and kicking up his heels a little. There we go. All right, there's my guys. Now, the other things I'm going to add to this is a little shadowy ground under his feet and over there and a couple of birthday hats maybe up here okay I think that's everything I need to stamp in black okay just like before we're going to get the stamp and write marker that matches the ink so we're going to be using our magenta madness and we're going to use the brush side again and just like before I'm going to color these guys little miss my bifocals aren't strong enough is having trouble seeing at certain angles ah. There we go. I got their little hooves all done. All right, so now I'm going to start with their sweet zebra stripes. Okay. This reminds me of that old joke, what's black and white and red all over? An embarrassed zebra. Well, mine's just a magenta zebra, but yeah. Okay. Back in the day, before COVID, I would do birthday card classes at my home. And the way they would work is you would come over and you would pay for the class or you would place a qualifying order and get the class for free. We made two of each card and you took those home and then whatever you ordered would arrive within two weeks and a lot of times um, people would order you know things that went with what we'd worked on and sometimes not if they were collecting markers or ink then they went ahead and got those things um, the person that is on the wrong place tonight waiting for this class <laughs> poor girl she's over at uh, at my zoom location she is collecting ink so she's gonna get the things to make tonight's cards and I will get those to her I will give her I will cut the kits and get those to her and she will get this for free because she's gonna be ordering an entire set an entire family of the inks so this month you have two choices on cards you can receive 
I have two classes going. I have the October class to go, which is with the Cherish the Season Bells. Anyone who orders the Cherish the Season bundle will receive, either in the mail or if they're local, I'll deliver them, they will receive um, the four cards already cut and all set for, oh, you know, I said I was done there, all set for them to put together and to use as a guide for their future cards. Um, if you're not local, again, I will mail those to you. I've already mailed one this month forgot to do the happy birthday. All right. And if you'd rather have the birthday cards, you know, just shoot me an email and tell me you'd rather have the birthday cards and I can do that. Either one is fine. But if you want the card kits, you have to make the qualifying purchase. Okay, just like before, I'm going to kind of turn my card as I do this so that the stars are in different directions. Probably didn't turn this one as much as I should have, but good enough, I think. All right, let me put this ink away. I do see my ribbon sitting right here. I'm gonna also show you something. I used black twine with the pink ribbon, and I'm not sure it added very much. So this time I think I'm just going to use the ribbon and um, go with that. The way I'm going to do this is get out my trusty glue dots. I probably need to get out trusty bigger glue dots. These are kind of little. But um, I'm going to put these, oops, don't mess up guys, right here on the back get rid of these little cellophane-y things that like to stick to me. And we're going to take the ribbon and stick it to that glue dot. Oops, and try and unstick it from my desktop. Okay, there we go. I'm going to come around here and cut this. And then I'm going to cut a piece to do a little faux knot back around here. And I'll probably need one more glue dot to go right behind our little faux knot to keep it in place. Okay, not liking how that looks better. All right, one more glue dot. There they are things I lose on my desk every single day. So I'm going to tell you while I'm working away here, my son and I went and voted today. I have never voted early. I'm going to miss seeing the people at my polling place. We've been voting at the same place for so many years. I know our normal poll workers and I really like them. But that's not going to happen this year. Hey, I just had an idea. You know what would have looked really cute? Is if I had put a very, very, very thin frame of black around this. But I'm not going to do that because I've already put the ribbon on this and I don't want to have to trim this any smaller. But this would have looked really cute with a piece of black in there. Put right that off on things you figure out after you make the card. I did that with one of my Christmas cards. Things I figured out after I made the card. One of them I had used too large of a label, so the next time I made the card, I just went down a little bit. Okay, now, you know what I forgot to do? Probably many things, but I did forget to stamp the inside. I'm just going to add this little guy. Let me get my piece here to keep me from stamping anything I don't want to stamp. I'm just going to add this little guy right down here in the corner. Isn't he cute? So, here's my ladies. And there's the inside. 
Now, let me get that blue one I had out earlier. And you know what I'm going to do, don't you? I decided this needs something inside also. I'm pretty sure if I pull out the original one, there's somebody inside. There we go. All done. So that's tonight's birthday card class. If you would like to receive the materials all cut to create these three cards, you would need to make, with shipping, a $35 purchase. And I would recommend that you start with, if you don't have it, Beautiful Friendship. Here's the Happiest of Birthdays, which has wonderful sentiments and our zany zebras. I love all of these very, very much. And I know I have shown you repeatedly this month our um, Cherish the Season cards. But again, if you purchase the Cherish the Season bundle, you will get the kit to make four of these, including you know the um, metallic elements already cut. The ribbon's going to be just a little different because I accidentally ran out of this ribbon. I do have more on the way, but it hasn't arrived yet. So, yeah, you get a choice this month. You can do Cherish the Season and start your Christmas cards. Or you can do some gorgeous birthday cards. Either one's going to be great. Thanks for stopping by tonight. If you have any questions, just, you know, leave me a comment and I will answer. Um, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. And thanks so much. And guess what I forgot to put out again is my Busy with the Cricky, the hostess, the hostess code. Please check my Facebook page for the hostess code. I forgot to print it out tonight. And these 7 o'clock lives get to me. I think that it's such a good time. And then I start rushing to try and get here. And I always forget something. So, yes. Please go to busywiththecricky.stampingup.net and please look on my Facebook page for the hostess code. Have a good night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.